guess who's going to Japan today? Me! Yeah. Um, but I am so excited. I cannot even breathe. Honestly, I have not been overseas since 2019. I almost don't remember how to do it. Um, what is it like to sit on a plane for that long? I don't know, but I will be taking you guys along. It's going to be so much fun. I'm just packing right now and organizing the apartment, tidying and stuff, because I always like to come home to a clean apartment. Um... Yeah, so much going on. I This will be up in the new year, likely after the holiday. So I will have talked about this already, but if you guys did not see on Instagram, I am pregnant at the moment. I am currently 15 weeks, 15 to 16 weeks. Um, so this trip is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm really hoping, honestly, the past few months I've been stressing because we've been planning this trip for so long and I have been feeling like dog shit, to put it lightly, um, for most of that time with the pregnancy. So I've just started getting my energy back, um, which is great. Not feeling 100%, but it's fine. We'll make it, we'll make it work. Yay! So exciting! Um, we're in the Amex Lounge. I feel like there's not that much to see. There's not that much to see. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> we're so excited. I'm so excited, babe. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Too. Yeah. You can't really tell, but. Yeah. Big silence there. We finally made it to Japan! Um, we left at 10.30 last night, and what time is it now? It's like 8.30. 8, 8.30 Japan time, which is like 9, 10.30. Sydney time. Yep. So hungry, the 7-Eleven was wiped out because it's rush hour, so we are getting unagi as our first meal, because this is the only thing that's open. On our final leg of the trip, we have been traveling for so long, but now we are getting on the bullet train to Osaka. It's about three hours, and I'm hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery fried food. I don't know what that is, beef. Mm. So hot. Mm. It's so hot. Oh, it's weird. It's like a surprise what you get. I know, it's like <laughs> surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Oh, this is meat. Yes, yeah, like beef. Mm. Apparently, this is an Osaka specialty. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't really taste good. Secret sauce. What is that? that? Is it? Yeah, it looks like it. What's that? Meat? Yeah, it looks like a beef ball or something. Like a meat ball. That's chicken? Meat ball. It's yum! Invite. This is an easy if I'm a Okonomiyaki. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was so good. So what do you think? Mm. It tastes like omelette but okonomiyaki. <laughs> this is chazuki, which is a rice bowl with like, um, like a dashi broth usually, I think. It's just, it's like, yeah, it's better like... It's very old. Funky sea seaweed so flavour. The seaweed's kind of like mushy as well. Okay, now we're trying the salmon. What is this thing called again? I can't remember. Chazuke. 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 Oh, that's so wasabi. Yeah. Not bad, not the best. That's awesome. 
Okay, we're at our actual dinner spot now. Um, what is this place called? Do you know? I don't know. No What's idea. This place called? Zhao Fishing Restaurant. And why is it called Fishing, you ask? We literally have to work for our dinner. I don't know how to fish with a rod. Can I just use the basket? Can we have to wait? Yeah. Will it bite? That's what you have to bite? do. And so this is the menu for fish that you catch. You can get it prepared in a variety of different ways. Sushi, chazuke, like grilled. <laughs> Oh my god. Does this count? I don't know. I'm assuming it does. <laughs> okay, so I figured out how this place works. There's a price that you pay that if you catch the fish, it's like 2,950 yen, for example, which is like 30 bucks. And then the price if you don't catch anything is like $10 more. So that's pretty cool. If you do the work, then you get a little bit of a discount, which is fun. We did catch a few fish already just by scooping them. So yeah, I think um, some of these guys are getting some sashimi style and then we're gonna get some cooked as well. It's a buffet of raw seafood. <laughs> I didn't wrap up the vlog last night because honestly I crashed so hard we were so tired um, but we had dinner at the fishing place that you guys saw it was how would you describe it in one word David uh, shit. No. Interesting. <laughs> it was interesting it was a fun experience obviously there are not many places that you can fish for your dinner Fun experience but everything in terms of the actual food was pretty average like I didn't eat it but apparently the sash sashimi which we ordered extra not the one that you caught tasted like it was a bit frozen the tuna which is not good but anyway don't recommend that place unless you want to go fishing but today we are going to Kyoto for a little overnight stay so we are going to the bamboo forest today and a few other things obviously i'll bring you guys along let's go yay mm. yum keeps the seaweed nice and crispy i was just saying focus on me I was just saying that 7-Eleven um, Australia tried to do this. Haven't tried it. Haven't heard the best things, but that's all right. A for effort. Now let's see if the seaweed is crispy. Some of that ASMR. Mm -hmm. We are on the bullet train to Kyoto. We're having some beard papa, which is like cream puffs, custard puffs. So good. Amazing. They used to have this in Australia and I don't know why they got rid of it because it's so good. We're here at the Arashima Bamboo Forest. Yes. Is it beautiful here? Amazing. Stunning. It's so stunning. Stunning even. A lot of uh, bamboo, a lot of trees. A lot of bamboo as expected. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's beautiful here. Lots of photo spots. I think people mainly just come here to take photos, to be honest. Yeah. Um, bamboo. So this sign indicates there are about 10 million bamboo trees in this forest, approximately. <laughs> 10 million. A few snacks at the bottom of the Arashima bamboo forest. Yeah. What's this? It's a red pepper chicken. Pretty Very authentic to Japan. There's a red pepper chicken. Is it? No. 
Wow. <laughs> so big. <laughs> it's huge. Got some oh, wow. Yum. Yeah. Tell us how it is. Is it nice? Bit chewy? Mm. Oh, that's pretty nice. Mm. Mm. That's, that's nice. Good. The short rib one is so good. Yum. I got a curry pan. It looks delicious. so good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Mm. Is it good? Oh, it smells nice. It smells so good. I still didn't taste anything. But... <laughs> oh my god, why? Give it's it to too me. hot. I think it's too hot. There's not even <laughs> curry in there. Oh, yeah. oh, it's not that much. It's like a. Yeah. Mm. But the outside is nice. <laughs> it's like... okay. We are here at our lunch stop mm -hmm. called Karakusa Curry, which I believe I found on the Michelin guide. It doesn't have a star, but it was mentioned. So it should be good. Google reviews are also really amazing. I've heard that this is what everyone gets. Half and half red and black curry. See you when the food comes. So this is the half and half chicken and beef. The black one is beef. Oh wow. Yep. Very intense flavor. A little bit sweet. And the, um, yeah, the beef is really soft. a bit of a kick to it. Mm. Michelin, not star. Michelin mentioned curry. It was actually really yummy. I liked it a lot. It was, it definitely had a Japanese curry taste, but we felt like it was a little bit more Indian, but definitely try and go before two o'clock. It opens 11.30 till three because they did run out of the beef curry. Otherwise we both would have gotten half, half beef. Uh, black and red curry, but otherwise a really good spot. Think of the curry. It was good. Oh, <laughs> we walked past this soft serve place that does this honeycomb soft serve. It's, it's like a more frozen Macca's ice cream. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still pretty good. Oh, okay. I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. I need to get some honeycomb. Mm. But I haven't tried the Hokkaido one, so I wouldn't know. Who would I? How would I know? Yeah, how do you know? Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Yeah. If you like honey, honey and like milk ice cream. Delicious. Okay, cut. <laughs> this is where we're staying in Kyoto. So cute. A tiny kitchen. Washing machine. Just do it, just Sitting area. Cute garden. So cute. Living room slash bedroom. Say hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> Bathroom. Um how do these lights work? Cute bathroom and a shower and bathtub for ants it's really cute but it's so small you'd have to like be in the fetal position to go in there we've got two beds up here the second bedroom downstairs you roll out like tatami style bedding which is cute but these are like two single beds up here and then through here is just like storage slash wardrobe space which is cute so it's a cool experience to stay in a little japanese style house for just one night in kyoto very cute i believe we booked this through booking.com it's just a private little house in this little back alley in kyoto so adorable why do i always have this little hair sticking out here like, sleeping on the floor authentic japanese style a comfy is it comfy okay Oh, that's the blanket. Oh, that's the blanket. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. <coughs> 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 
traditional Japanese sleeping experience tonight. <laughs> but it's fun. It feels like a sleepover, sleepover party. Traditional Japanese style all my life. Then. Where? The sleepovers. Oh, sleeping on the floor like this. Yeah, friends' house. Yeah, I guess so. I wasn't allowed to go to sleepovers, so I wouldn't know. I was. Tonight we are going to Fushimi Sake Village. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. It's like an area they have lots of breweries and sake places. It's like an izakaya. It's but what is that? I don't actually understand. Is it like a food court? Uh, with lots of restaurants or like, like an a area. Little village area a little village and there's like lots of izakaya bars it's famous for sake so you can like get little nibbles drinking food kind of thing and um and drink different kinds of sake which is fun mm -hmm. these guys are probably gonna get lit i'm not and then we just hope that no one um, puts their hand through these paper walls at any point during yeah. the night. We're looking at you, David. It'll be me. It'll be him for sure. Do you know these little slippers? They're one size fits all in Japan. <laughs> Perfect fit. <laughs> Yeah, if you shove your foot in. Take a shock shock. Shock shock. Oh, very Sorry. cool. So, this is the sake flight. 18 sakes. It's like 25 bucks or something, which is pretty crazy. This is horse Priscilla's choice. Um, yeah. Do you love some horse? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's a little bit raw to my liking. <laughs> It looks but so you know, good. it actually looks nice though, like yeah. a little tata. David's preparing for to get lit tonight. <laughs> what is that? This is a uh, show oh. the people. It tastes this like shit. What is? Ooh, it stings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah. Ooh, it smells like medicine. It does smell pretty bad. Boomerang. <sighs> tastes tastes worse. Stole that shit. Is it gonna help you? Does it really help? What is it? Not like really. a ginseng yeah. anti hangover hey, it drink. Nice. Really? Yeah. Oh. First time trying horse sashimi. Are you guys excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Mm, just tastes like raw beef. Yeah. Oh, it tastes like raw beef. Mm. Is it nice? It's, it's okay. One. Oxtail. So, the first three? Beef tongue. <laughs> That's a bit strong, yeah. It's like, I was like, maybe this is weaker. <laughs> 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 like, they're really strong. Strong. Very salty. Yeah. Looks pretty juicy. This is red hot. Oh, it's so hot. That's pretty nice. I don't know. He said chicken. I don't like it better than a raw oyster, but David hates oysters. Yeah. Babe, try this. It's hot. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Okay. Yeah. It's only like raw. Oh, I love raw. Have our winners. <laughs> Except you still have these two. So. <laughs> you guys are losing, by the way.